they, they pulled the small camp, so he kind of tried to mess with that a little bit. Meanwhile, Zai, happy little camper on this top lane. Happy land. Yeah, Gamson, though, not very happy at all. Just get chased in. First blood drawn, and Miracle gets it. This is, this is one of those situations when you flame your position 4. Dude, the only thing you have to do is just stay behind me. That's it. Lock the camp, stay behind me. Just don't die, because they can't kill me. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Yapsor, he played with fire a little bit too close there. Uh, the, the possible in that situation is argument is always, well, you're only unkillable because you're level 3 now, but now that you're level 3, can you protect Yapsor from problem? They're just going to keep poking a front with this tank. As, as long as laners on both sides should win their uh, each respective lanes. As you can see, the CS might control on top. Oh yeah. And then the difference is like which one can more easily do things in the mid game. Because right now, as I is at least getting some ejection This is the Yaps as they pick off Omni Knight. But suffice to say, a, a Sand King is going to be easy for him to kind of hunt down targets in, in that mid game, right? Compared to a Tim. Oh, almost right, I say that. Miracle! <laughs> Zai, he can't get the right tree, and the tracker won't be enough now that Kuroki has arrived. Yeah. Well, right, uh, well, uh, miracle? Yeah. No, he's fine. He's like, come at me, buddy. I might not be able to kill you, but now that my Omni's back, he can't kill me either. <laughs> well, he's still pretty low, but yeah, like you said, Omni is here, he'll be able to heal him up. Uh -oh. Why he died there, Kuro is just trying to get level 3 as soon as possible, so sometimes that means you're a little bit greedier on the farming patterns, and Try up lane. All jokes aside, because uh, that lane is already pressured way too hard, and he's not getting enough. I don't think farming this small camp is enough either. Uh, oh, he's just waiting for info. That's it. Good lane. Engage. I think Kuro is in a little bit of trouble there. Maybe he gets the TP out. Looks like he will be able to escape. They they can bust for him when he had the heavenly grace on. Yeah, they're swapping lanes around. So top lane mind control now. Uh, he deals magic damage more than anything else, so he'll be able to stay inside. Dive on to GH. He's able to get the solo back. Point Chain's finally finding his value there. Yep. Um, so what happened there is GH, he managed to survive the first time because he had dive, but then he still stuck, stuck around to try to perhaps uh, defend the tower a bit longer, which led to his inevitable death. As you don't have cooldowns, right? You don't have level 6, you don't have dive, you're just dead. Yeah, and it's annoying because you want to be sitting there, right? It's wasted XP in your eyes if you're not able to absorb it. So he might think it's worth the risk, but at the same time, you are just starting to pad Nisha off because he's now at level 9 compared to Weave. Oh, yeah, but so. Miracle is, is really moving a lot. Bottom lane. Yeah. I don't know if they got. Nope. The purification wasn't really time. Nisha was able to dodge with the slight fist. Can't Pun be punished. But moving in, maybe. He's trying to move away the blast through Puppy able to spank that PA. We just about able to move away with the final astral step, but there you go, Liz. That's what you wanted. Both the boss ones. Both, both, both carries that. I'm not biased if I want both of them to die, right? <laughs> exactly. You want them to equally suffer. Just suffer exactly. a lot. And sweet. Alright, looks like they won't be able to quite clean up we here. So Nisha, he was feeling blood first. He's having quite the hell of a game right now. Top of the net worth, 103 and decent CS as well. Still a much better trade for um, Nigma and for Secret Sorry because they took down three heroes. Um, they did lose Sven first, which is a little bit bad, but if you're Matu right now, you're not too worried as you still do it too. Mid lane, mind control. Oh, jump in. Clinic initiation's good. Ember burst through. Slight fist to try and Damn. dodge, but the remnant perfectly placed to ensure he's going. That was actually not pitch perfect from Nigma, and if Nisha had a remnant somewhere else, like he's out of there, he would be fine. Sadly for him, he didn't. As a result, the rippling effect of this, they're gonna try and take the T1 tower, but mind control is getting a little bit too greedy here. Lamp's gonna go down, stun control onto mind control. Can he get away though? Gold strength's gonna be used, they wanna burst through quickly with the purification. That's not enough to save him. They'll be able to find the kill. They'll hunt for Morker and now the next target on the hit list. The egg's going to be committed. Is it going to be enough to save him though? Avatar's on the spot. It's going to get him. Kuro's gone. And they're able to back away before they all get stunned up. Yeah, that, that was a really nice sec, but um, there, there was no support for it. And it was only to try and save Omni Knight, which obviously didn't work in the end. Very interesting play by Enigma. Too aggressive in my, in my opinion. 
as they go into the triangle after they've wasted everything they had on mid lane, on that Ember kill, if you remember. Yeah, it's, it's like, well, I'm going to forget it. Like you said, it, it wasn't the cleanest initiation. So the fact they felt confident enough to try for an even harder kill is surprising itself. This one, however, much easier. Yamsor caught under the tier one tower. Nigma, they rotate all their heroes here. They really need to find more for this, though. I'm not going to get Anisha. This feels like you just grasping straws now. Uh, yes and no, because if you... <laughs> I mean, he's been looking pretty rough right now, right? Uh, he'll be buffed for sure. It's, it's not the most interesting or fun hero for me, at least, personally, in the game. So I don't mind not seeing him every single game. Uh, they're, they're rotating him, but Zai is big. Uh, it's a hard kill, maybe. They're going to try for it. I don't know, the Remnant might be enough to bring him down. He's low, they will be able to clean him up. On the side though, the roots are coming out. We protected, trying to escape, but he's going to leave behind the Omni Knight. GH is tanky enough, they don't want to try and force them out. You poke the bay, you might get the egg. Not really sure how that works, but they want that egg. And we'll just walk away. <laughs> um, so they, they do get what they came for. They use the egg and the epicenter in the end. Meanwhile, Sven obviously had to use God's strength. Oh, fight! Look at the re-engage. Yep, stun control in. We brought low. Maybe they get him. He's able to be able to simulate though. He stands his ground and then cuts away. Toss across just to try and escape. Yapsil being brought low. Miracle will clean him up. Tuma Man, extremely Mind. low, will be finished off as mind control moves him. And Tuma Man, one hit will do it. The dagger across one to the wrong target though. Miracle, no! He doesn't go for Matuma Man. And as a result, he's going to be the one dying. We will go in now, still looking for him, but he can't find him. Oh, no. No. <laughs> he's not only God of Strength, he's God of Jukes right now. He's going to dodge it all out. We is also going to be punished. All spells on cooldown. It's a double kill for Zai. And Sven just limping away, confident on next to no HP. When, when I said Zai was big, I meant item build-wise. I didn't mean... Calm down, buddy. I know the egg's coming off You're cooldown. Cool, I don't know if we'll fight this. They're cutting in. Straight. Oh, Pumpy's just gone. But they're going to lose mind control just as quickly to the combo. Miracle trying to punish this, but it's been a remnant away from Nisha. The egg has been committed nowhere near the rest of the secret, so they can just back up. Every single game you're playing Quattle versus uh, PA, there's this moment in the game in which you... Miracle, like, the PA doesn't go on you way too many times, you feel a bit safe. But after this time, I think Puppy will play way, way more carefully. Yeah, I mean, right, right now, he, feels, he felt like he was a knight on a horse, right? He's got his shield. He's protected by that bad guard. He's just getting mad, though. Now Zai, able to move away. Miracle has got that DD running. I don't know if they want to engage. It's going to be a remnant control on Anisha. Do they want to go in? Epicenter Stun's going to be there. Bring him low. Anisha's still alive, though. Ever Sly Fist, can he move away? Remnant in. Chains are out. They're going to get the triple yeah. kills. They clean them up with a god strength on Matumba Man. Miracle, even with a DD, realizes his limits and has to back away. Very aggressive moves from Nigma again. They didn't have the royalties, they didn't have the egg, but they still go in. I can understand why you're, you're playing a PA and that PA has a DD, and again. Now back, Nisha is alive again! Miracle! He needs to get out! But Superman is coming, they're gonna jump in, he wants to kill the puppy, is this gonna cost him his life though? It's dead, Kuro, targeted by Batuman, he's gonna be burst through the avalanche, it's enough to get rid of Miracle. GH in trouble now, needs to retreat, we'll be able to dive away, but the damage is already done. Look at the net worth lead that Secret now have 20 minutes in, two fights, and they're now up 7,000 gold over Nigma. Because Matu isn't dying, right? In these two fights, Matu survives, meanwhile Miracle, yeah, he does get a couple of kills, two kills on Kotl, if nothing else. But he still does fall in the end, which is what makes Matu have a BKB, Echo Saber, and Mask of Madness right now. Meanwhile, you don't even have SNY completed. This is an ambitious kill, sir. They want to try and punish Nisha. They need to be careful. Avalanche Toss is going to come out, though. They just get punished instead. Oh, the, the lockdown, it is painful to watch for Nigma. I, I feel like if Mind Control is not there, none of these kills are ever possible. You're giving mixed signals here, buddy. Yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not trying to finish off Prince. So. I can finish off himself, though. Challenge accepted. This time, there will not be punishment, though. So, man, just wants out. He also going to be there, though. Jump in. DKB forced out. Who's done him up? Ghost Strength trying to go to work on the mind control. Does get him just as he borrows <laughs> strength away. No. <laughs> out of all the ways to die there, that's going to be the most tilting one of all for mind control. Moving in. 
Yeah, yeah. They want that egg, but like... It just, just doesn't want. feel fair, man. It's, this shouldn't exist. Like, you have three heroes, you jump him. He's not... Yeah, okay, he has an Edward. I mean, he has a BKB as well, yeah. right? Come on. <laughs> he tur he three shot at an S SK off. Oh no! It's not like there's a hero in this game that could one shot people, but Superman might get one shot from this help. Gone. They commit the egg. Can they find more though? Die. Look at the move away. We'll be able to do so. Yeah, all with the TP out. No crit, so he will make it. Defensive, right? It's just like, oh, they jump us. We just need like one second reset, and we can get a bad advantage point. I don't know if this rush. Yeah, they smoke up. This is much better. Each up. Jump in. No yours. A little bit of a segregation there. He will get hit by the remnant of the lowest there to protect him. They'll move away from the egg. Epicenter isn't going to get close enough. You will see the proper two of them, but there's the ghost strength. Just going to move away for the moment. The egg is going to explode. But they'll look to re-engage. It's like cuts towards the back line. They are in full retreat on the side of Nygma. They did force out the ghost strength, but they can't lose any heroes. The Avatar is going to be there, and they found Kuro. That will this be enough Roche, to validate yeah. Roche. Yep. This, this, this is Roche because Egg was used too. Now, if you're Nygma, you might think about still defending because you have a uh, blinking stun from stun from Sand King. And yeah, this one got. He chill. Yeah, he knows something's wrong. He's like, I'm an Ember, I should be in the pit. They do not have the epicenter though. They do not have the egg. This is going to be a tough one. Jump in. BKB out from a Timber. Mind control. Gone in four hits. Moving in on a GH, tosses there, perfectly time to go for the dive away, is able to escape. But Superman, God's strength has now run out, but the jump in is going to be the Ember. Gets splashed up by Roche, but the Roche's going to come up. Miracle now in trouble. The lad goes down and traps him. We as well. Tots across on the spot. Miracle needs it now, but he won't be able to find it. One more hit. Don't find it. They bring him down. We is able to move away, but the damage is already done. They've lost Miracle again. It's a 10k net worth lead, and now Secret can secure the Roche. They're punishing Miracle for his overaggression every single time he goes in. They bait him with Nisha, lock him with Searing Chains, and then Martin just finishes off with the up heal. Really, really well. Hey, look at that, Admin. There you go. The, the Storm Hammer cooldown. How unexpected. <laughs> I mean, of course he's gonna take it, but I'm just building. I like how you build the suspense. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absorb. Oh, hello. He's gonna set someone up here. He's like, kill me, please. There's reinforcements coming, and I'm not the quickest of kills. He'll finally be brought down. The lamp has been dropped. They are TPing in reinforcements. We on the high ground. Storm Hammer up. GA to try and protect him, but the magical damage is going to bring him low. The remnant fruit, they've almost got through him. We trying to cut and run away. The chain isn't going to connect with a tree. They will at least get the voice for it, but it looks like that's all they're going to get. He wasted too much of their time, so they get the high value target miracle out of there alive. The, the, this trade is one for one, and it's actually very lucky for Nigma because. Gotl, Papi, he already used his chakra before before Matu came, so he didn't have that double stun. If he did, that would be more kills for sure. Sure. But now they wanna they say, okay, if we can't kill you know, heroes, we'll go for inanimate objects. They aim for the tie. Instead they're gonna find Kuro on the back line. The Lotus reflecting the stun though, Ember moving even closer to Miracle scares him off. They find the kill on the Kuro. Oh, looking for more, Nisha. Such against that though, they say, wait. Go about the tars, let's, let's turn around and deal with those to go strength. You go outside of your base, uh, you try to take an objective, and then Secret just rushes you back down to your own high ground. And they're taking every objective that they can. Meanwhile, the tier 1 is taken, the tier 2 now as well is going to fall, and that's all the outer tower. Right, just the Oliver Twist begging for, for a second serve, maybe the first at this stage. Japsor, jump in. Go set, uh, he doesn't care. But here, he says some nice magic damage, buddy. The tiger will get him though. Nisha's poking around the back. Miracle needs to get out quick. We, however, might not be so lucky. Trying to move away. I'll move across with the remnant. They've got the chains, they have got the connect, they have got the damage to punish we for. Okay, so what happened there is the Yapsor does die. But I think what's wor a little bit worse for Secret is that uh, their push was stopped. Still. Do you really care that much about that? You're controlling the map, you're farming up. This AC will... And that's kind of the surprising part about it, right? Sven has not, like, he doesn't see the need for a Silver Age or an MKB. Like, he feels so confident about the PA not being a problem that he's not countering her with his items. I've seen so many die on that hill thinking the same thing and then missing 10 times in a row, but yeah, I agree with you. Miracle. Try to escape. There's too many heroes here though, Kuro, can he get his carry out of this? So give him the Heavenly Grace. 
They can just save some stuns. They're just gonna go for the TP away, but there's the chain. With that Miracle's forced to fight, he'll move in and punish Poppy for it. He says it was your chakra that got me killed. The GA is gonna be used, but Miracle, nowhere to run. We'll turn around, look at a Yaps, will bring him low, but the Ghost Scepter ensures he'll only get one kill down there. By the way, he does have Heavenly Grace for status, so maybe this is well thought through as well, right? Like, you have Heavenly Grace plus the Sun, maybe that's the reasoning behind it. But so far, he only has damage to kill off a Kotl, which is really... He was with the Dragon Scale, <laughs> that looks so good on him. Actually, I love this even better, he's carrying oh, Spare Kid Smoke. Yeah, he just broke Avalanche, oh. Oh, all of them! The jumping stun control, we has got Miracle, forced to fight with the lamp control and him wants to run away. They've already lost by control, they're gonna lose Miracle as well. Kuro, he's not getting away. The slight of fist, the slight of power yeah. is coming out. Nick Bro just broke it. I would ping that ward too, man. They're pinging it now, <laughs> but it's a bit too late. And it's such a I'm uncharacteristic mistake for Enigma for a tier one team to smoke up that far without checking for a ward, that was... I mean, what a way to capitalize from Yapsor though, right? Like, you know, we, we were worried about his slow blink timer and whatnot, but that impact, that avalanche toss combo is a game winning avalanche toss combo. A secret are gonna win this one. They'll poke and prod at GH, they'll force the egg out of him, but then they'll turn around for the throne as they have done it. They've taken the game against Nigma. The game was broken for Nigma, that is way earlier than this last fight. But man, that ward helped out so much. That ward, scouting out the smoke, allows the Absorb to jump in and just win the game right there. He, he allowed Sven to jump back in, cleave.